Hello everyone, TP Gaming here and welcome to Music Store Simulator. Um, I have don't know, really know anything about the game other than I think we own a music shop. Uh, so let's get into it. I have named us T-Pitch Music. Um, we are going to select a random country. It just so happens to be England, a random city, Manchester. Uh, I'll go with this little icon here. Let's go. Let's see what shop we can open up in Manchester. But like I say, I don't actually know anything about the game. I just uh, saw it was on Steam and thought, I'll have a look at that. Bring it to the channel, see what it's about. First thing I'm noticing here is a lengthy loading time. Okay, here we are. So, welcome to Music Store Simulator. Uh, demo. Interesting. Simulator. Uh, this demo version will allow you to build three electric guitars ooh, in a workday in your studio at 6 o'clock this demo ends. Or is that 18 minutes, I guess? Or is that 6 o'clock that time? So we've got one day in the game. This demo ends, so we've got one day. Woo! Uh, so, you have to satisfy your customer's orders the best you can because a loyal customer will make new orders in the future. The time is going. I'm trying to read. This is not good. Increases your brand popularity as well. Your studio is at the beginning of its history. Production room, two workbenches, da 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 um, Augmented reality, notifications. Just, I don't really have time to read this. Left, right click, we can do stuff with. A time is a ticking. We haven't got time to be reading that when we're, we've only got... Well, that doesn't... Uh, we don't have fire hydrants like that in England. This is not Manchester. I've been to Manchester. That's that's not bad for a tree, actually. The movement of the tree, that's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse than that in, in a lot more different games where you actually have to go outside. Anyway, enough wasting time. What do we have here? We've got some magazines with Johnny Depp on the front and motorbike magazine. Look quite nice in here. Looks quite nice. I don't know what's in here. The warehouse. So this is where we keep all of our bits and pieces. Um, furnishings, all that kind of stuff. That's quite nice. Wow. So that's pretty good. So we've got all of our stuff in there. This looks like our sort of workbench. And then we've got another workbench over there. That's upstairs. Dangerous staircase this is. Whoa. want to fall down there, would you? What's up here then? Uh, a little seating area. This looks like our office. Some snacks. What do we got snack-wise? A lot, just various different crisps. I like a Hershey's chocolate bar down there. Mm, a few bits and pieces. Water cooler. Okay, A4 paper. Coffee machine. That's pretty good. That's a bit like my intro. Uh, phone, not clickable, computer, we can sit at the computer, we're, we're burning through the day here, I, I've really got to be careful with this. Uh, emails, supply, brand popularity, courses, wow there's a lot to this, there's a lot to this. So, instruments and skills. So we can take courses, allow to receive orders regarding new models and furthermore also process as new pieces. So we can have new pieces to our guitars and make new things, so we can go full on 80s rock in design and have some like glam rock guitars I guess and then we can have some more regular looking ones so that's pretty cool but you have to go through the tree and you can gain experience I guess and learn these things to uh, to build different types skills is locked I don't know if that uh, oh no it's not locked um, oh so we have different wow so we even have different woods to choose from for our guitars Nice. Okay. I assume we build everything from here. We can improve our um, our area here by the looks of it. So we can have bigger buildings. So we can have a painting room, drying room. So presumably at the moment then, maybe we can only, you know, it takes longer and maybe we can only dry sort of one at a time. Maybe we can get further in there. So there's quite a lot to this game 
quite a lot here. Uh, email. So these are our orders, which I'll look at in a second. Finance. Okay, we don't have that in the demo. We don't have the bank either. We don't have this, that. I assume we don't have this either. Okay. And our brand popularity. So it shows where in the world you're conquering with your brand, which is quite good indeed. Uh, so let's step away from the computer a second. Let's just finish exploring the area, or maybe not, because we appear to be stuck to the chair. What's over here? What's in this door? Anything? Empty room, a lot of trash for the future. So you, this is where you would expand then, so you can make this into a studio. So we could probably come in. So we could probably make the instruments and then maybe you get um, musicians coming in to use your studio to make their songs and stuff with. That's pretty cool. And I guess this is a similar kind of thing. Rehearsal studio. So yeah, we can do rehearsals. So we've got soundboarding and stuff here. So nice. There's a lot to this. Um, there's a fair amount to this game. I got stuck on the floor there for some reason. There's a fair amount here. So uh, I think we'll have a look at an order and then we'll get stuck in and try as we get stuck again. We keep sticking to the floor for some reason. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Is this floor incredibly sticky? Is that why it's a different colour? There's a lot of lag. I don't know if this is a game bug or if this is me. I'm not entirely sure. The fact it clears when I do that suggests it's maybe a game. Uh, anyway, so let's have a look at the emails. Jackson Holt, he wants... Uh, we'll accept his order then. The order has been activated and the project has been placed on the shelf in the production room. Ready to be worked. Okay, so that's got to be downstairs then. I suppose I could have accepted all the orders there, but I don't know how long it's going to take us to... Especially when we can't move... There we go. I don't... Am I hitting a wall or something here? What is going on? Like my inputs are pressed... I, I pressed the walk forwards and... It doesn't seem to affect me everywhere, but it's affecting me enough. I might have to... to kill the game and then okay so I've rebooted the game I think we're okay now I don't know if it's the game or me um, so I'll claim it it's me give the game uh, some slack there because it's it probably my keyboard or something anyway the shelves are useful place to put the instruments the rest for the processing phase both drying okay okay what do you want to do um, show the details of this project okay uh, move to a different shelf so there are any options resume working on this project production room floor one I think we need to go through here then is that what it means or does it mean over there this is just our storage area isn't it shouldn't there be a um Once again, I'm getting stuck somewhere. I don't know if I'm sticking on scenery or what. So this is the workbench. So don't we need to do something here? I don't understand here, maybe? Like, how do we start working on the project then? This is go to the project room. There is no project room. Show the details, move this project. Warehouse. So we are here. Oh, I see. I see. So you click these. So if we move it to there. Aha. Now we can go and work on it over there as soon as the game catches up with me. Here we go. So the workbench allows processing of projects. So treat it well. Okay. Show details of the project work on this project okay so do we need to order some parts here then presumably because we don't have a body to put on here do we 
Okay, okay. Right, so what did the customer want? Do we remember what the customer wanted? I certainly don't remember what he wanted. I wish we could print out his um, requirements. Hold. Okay. So, starting quality. So I think we're going to give this guy something big because he's not he's not great here in Manchester. He, we need a bit of brand variety ourselves. So, but obviously I imagine we can't go too expensive. And then we don't seem to have any money problems, do we? Because we are... So let's go right in here. Let's go walnut. Can we, can we chuck that? Oh, I see. So these green things are what he would like. I see. So let's go for this. What's that? Oh, but we don't have that in stock. Oh, I see now. I see. So what he wants, we don't have in stock. I think that's what those I think this is what this means. I think that means he wants it and then we have it in stock. I think that's what that means. So apparently the only thing we have is this. So we better go with this then. So with our walnut, let's uh ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. We have a lot here. So we've got natural, transparent, opaque, which is a bit much I think for this guy I think we're gonna give him some wood grain I like the wood grain and we can choose any color I think a nice ooh, so we can have a nice black or we can have a nice sort of maroon color I guess we can go up and down the color we have some really wacky colors here I'll tell you what you don't see any navy blue guitars maybe navy blue with a bit of white on it or something maybe we can do that can we have like two colors oh we can we can have many colors. It looks like this is fully customizable however you want to do it. Could do with um, bringing that back around there. But obviously white would just give the thing there. It's not, so you can't color that white yet. I was thinking some maybe white trim there. So I might just have the one color actually. Okay, wood cut. So you can change, oh, you can change the grain. Wow. Oh, you can really make some... I'm sure all of you watching will do a much, much better job than me of this. But I like that. Okay, so we're going to start with that. The chosen finishing will be applied in the painting phase. Okay. Um, so do I click automatic setup, do I? I don't know. That's just ruined it for me. It's ruined it for me. Trans oh, I see the order is like this. I see. I see. Maybe a little tutorial would have helped me. Maybe a little tutorial would have helped me. Okay, so the order. He wants walnut. He wants it opaque. He wants model two. He wants Bordeaux, orange, and ivory. And he wants a metallic finish. I see. This is his order. Okay, so we've done the automatic setup. I don't particularly like that myself. My guitar was better. My guitar was better. So... Okay, so they're the colours he asked for. He wasn't bothered about the woodcut, but you can't see it anyway because he wanted a metallic finish. So we confirm that. Okay, so that'll go into the painting phase afterwards. So now we can do the neck. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we go. So we can now choose the neck. So we have to look for the one that he wants again and what we have in stock. So we can give him... We have options of necks. We have options. Um, I think we'll go with the we'll go with this. And again, he wants so he wants that. He wants it opaque. He wants it uh, Bordeaux. What does he mean by? How do we pick Bordeaux? What what colour is Bordeaux? I don't even know what colour. Let's go automatic setup. Let's get an idea of what he wants here. Um, okay, well that looks that looks pretty good actually. That looks fairly decent. So we'll click confirm, and then that will slot into place nicely. So next steps painting. So we now have to take this to 
another table, do we? Press and hold. Here we go. So, elements to paint. Layer, layer, layer. Ooh. Elements to paint. Here we go. So, are we painting this now? Are we doing this? Layer one. Oh, we are. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I now have to be... Wow, so we're brushing this on. This is quite cool. The fact you uh, really do make the entire guitar. My legendary painting skills. Look at this. Look at me. Not even going over the lines. It'd be nice if I could see the other side, maybe, but... Is that done? I can't see... I can't see around the other side to, to know whether we've done the other side. How do we do this? Rotate object R. Here we go. Get it all painted up nicely. I wonder what time of day it is. We only have till 6 o'clock before the shop closes, and we are indefinitely no longer manufacturing um is that it have we done no we haven't done the, the top round here have we uh so we want to move the camera i think this is what's missing uh come down with what s yeah here we go Make sure we get all this uh, front bit done. Rotate that over, nicely done. Make sure it's all painted nicely. I think that's, it says 86%. We click automatic painting. I think we basically did it. Oh, this has painted the rest of the layers for us. Oh no. Oh, I was gonna do that myself. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay. Do we have any decals to put on? Does he even want that? I don't know. Drying. What do we do here now? Elements to paint. Oh, we haven't painted the neck, of course. Let's paint the neck. So... Uh, seems easy enough. Uh, finish it off, just in case we don't know how. That looks sweet. I mean, it's not as good as my blue one, but it looks sweet. Um, okay, so that's the painting done. Does he want any decals on it or anything like that? Do we have to put it away now to dry? Is that what we need to do? So we need to move it. Yeah, let's move it there then. Okay, so that's now gone off to dry. Presumably we don't have... How long does it take to dry? Do we have enough time for it to... Drying conclusion, one hour, 48 minutes. Okay, what do I do here then? Do I just wait for an hour and 48 minutes now or... Okay, so now we have a different order. So we kind of know what's going on here now. So they want an ash. We'll do the automatic setup because why not? Uh, so they want that. It's cool. Uh, so we'll confirm. Uh, just flick that over. Let's have a look at it. It's quite nice. Let's have a look at the neck. Um, they want that. What do they want? Neutral as the handle. And they want a glossy finish. And that's all they want doing. Uh, so now we go into the painting. Don't think they want this painting. But do you just go over this with some gloss or something? Oh, I see. Hang on. Okay. 
So just some finishing oil over the, the neck. Like so. Do is zooming out a little bit. I'm a bit close here. There we go. So our other guitar is still drying on the shelf. I think that's pretty much it. There we go. It's now coated. Uh, we need to now uh, do the main body. So. What do we want to do here? We want to paint this. So paint quality, normal or high? Interesting. So presumably, the, if you have a really good paint quality, just the quality of the product goes up. Or does it apply better, I wonder? Just done. There we go. Nicely done. Have we about finished this? Pretty much. I'll click automatic to get us there. Um, okay, so I think now we need to take this and put it on the drying rack move that there and we can move the neck or do we just move everything to one don't we yeah we do okay so that's drying there so now we can do this one okay we've got about six hours to get done so we should manage that uh, so the body, customer wants. I had a look at the stock options as well while I was uh, at the computer getting the new orders and you can't get stock in. So whatever we have is what they want. Uh, this is fine. They just want this in matte. So that's cool. The neck. Uh, again, they just want it in a matte finish. A very easy guitar. Got a nice matte finish for them. This should be an easy one to do. So all we're doing here is putting finishing oil on. Bring that wood up. I seem very zoomed in again, but I can't seem to zoom out. I can zoom right in, but I can't zoom out any further than this. I'll just do with a little bit further away. About it, I think. Just automatic finish that, uh, and then we'll go to the neck. And that again just wants some finishing oil on it. a bit stuck in the menu here I can't um, can't rotate the guitar again so oh there we go we're getting some movement 
Rotate the guitar, please. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if, if it's me having the issues or if it's the game sticking a bit. I'm not entirely sure. It could just as well be me. Okay, we can take this to the drying. That can go on the top shelf. Confirm. Okay, that's that done. Uh, what do we need to do now? Um, is that on the neck or is that on a... Yes, yeah, so it's on the other side. Flip that. Aha, there we go. Ah, so we need to put the fret bed on now then. So we have a choice of fret bed. I think that ebony one looks probably the nicest. So we'll go with that, I reckon. But for some reason, it won't let me do anything with it. Glue. Uh, they take an hour to dry. That should do nicely. Okay, that's the drying time. Okay, let's get this on. Get some glue on it. It's a lot of glue. Okay, that's uh, enough glue. Stick it on. Put on the clamp. Positioning of the clamps. Choice clamp. Uh, I want sure one of those. Fine, one of those. Yeah. Is that wrong? There we go. Um. Pick each clamp individually, do you? Sure, one of those will, will do, I think. Why is that going up? What? It's a bit weird. All right. I'm enjoying this game, but I do think there's a little bit of clunkiness, but I, I don't, I'm not sure if the clunkiness is is my fault. No, go down. I mean, nothing was really... Ex I mean, it probably was explained, but... Why won't that work? Have we got the wrong clamp? No, it's fine with that. Okay. So I don't think it matters what clamp you use. There we go. So you don't need to click them down, you just need to push them down. Okay, I get it. Uh, so now we need the, the nut then. Which is where? Where does this nut need to go? Have that. Okay. Yeah, we'll have that. Confirm. Is that it? That's it. Okay. I see. I have no idea. I mean, I'm not a guitar builder. I have no idea what these things are. That, to me, is not a nut. <laughs> but maybe it is. Maybe that's my bad. I don't know. I, I have no idea because I, I don't make guitars. Okay. This is this one nearly finished. Well, finished at this stage. We've glued on thing clamp these and then we can I hope on the first guitar we're almost ready for putting the strings on I think I think that's nearly dry now yeah that's ready for uh, that's ready to dry the 
Okay, let's have a look at the first one. That is now ready to dry. So, well, it's ready. It's already dried, I should say. Uh, so, resume working on the project. Let's move it there. Okay, let's see what we need to do now then. Remove the clamps. Okay. Bridge supports. And yeah, we've got loads of stuff we need to do here then. Wow, we've got a lot of stuff to do. So where do you start? One of them in. He wants black and ivory. Black and... Well, it's black finishing. He wants black... Plastic finishing he wants. Hang on. Plastic finishing. Plain colour, what? Okay. Yep, that's what he wants. Okay. One of them on there. Let's screw them in. Presumably we need to do the same thing here. Black and ivory, same thing. Okay, what else can we put on here? Pick guard. Can now go on. He wants this in ivory. And some more screws. Okay, what do we want now then? Bridge supports. Uh, he wants these in black. Bridge over. And there we go. It's starting to look more and more like a guitar the more we do it. Uh, one of those. Does that need tightening in? Yes, it does. Okay, we're getting towards the end, I think, now. Just got to put these strings on. I can click the right pixel, the strings. Uh, let's see what strings those ones aren't. I wonder if we have to tune this at the end. Do we, what, what's going on here? There, there. 
Hey, that's one of the strings done. Do we have to do all of the strings? Okay. One thing I am finding with this game, it's not necessarily a bad thing, and I think it's, you know, some people are going to want it, some people aren't. It's a bit grindy in some aspects of the, you have to keep going back to the menu. Like once I've selected strings, it's obvious I want to have all of the strings. Um, I mean, maybe, yeah, if they're different colors or something, but it's obvious I want to put all the strings on the guitar. So having to come, you have to click on the next set of strings, fine, but I should already have them available. Having to come into here and then having to go through the, the menu every single time you want to do something it does get a little bit tedious um, it happened with the turning keys it happens with everything because you know you have to get every single one out individually rather than just have them you know, i can click on the holes to put them in and then screw them in just little things like that would um you know not for everybody some people will love the authenticity of doing this one by one and um you know, really, really, it'd be a perfect game for them because I love doing that. I do, but it's, I think it's just got to the point for me where it's just a little bit too much. Um, where all I feel like I'm doing is, you know, going back into menus, clicking things, coming back out of menus, going back into the menus. It just feels like I'm always in the menu. But I think, so now we need to... Now we need to tune by the looks of this. So what do we do here then, trust rod? So... Okay. Do we move this? Okay. I think we, do we want to go the... No, we, no, we're going the right way. That's right. That's it. So I assume you want to get right in the center of the green. So this is tightening the strings then. Uh, I'd say about there is, whoops. There we go, that's about perfect. What do we do now? Um, oh, I see. Cover over it. Oh yeah, ivory again. Three screws. Nicely done. So now we need to do the tuning. So how do we do that, I wonder? Do we assume we click on each string? Tuning in the rehearsal room. The final tuning must be completed in the rehearsal room where the instrument can be played. Okay. So that's now in the rehearsal room, which was upstairs, I believe. That was in here. Ah, there's our guitar. Okay, let's... Um Complete the order, we need to tune it first, so tune the instrument, here we go. We're tuning the instrument. All right, uh, string too high to be lowered, E. So how do you play the, what do you do here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so that needs to go, that needs to be raised. How do we do that then? Do we turn the key here or raise note? How do you know which one you're touching from this camera angle? I'm not entirely sure what's... Ah, so that needs to be... That needs to be lowered. What are we... Um, have we gone too far now? It's too high. 
little bit more. There we go. Nearly. I mean, this is hard enough in real life, to be honest. <laughs> To get this right in the game as well. This very quickly goes. There we go. We'll have that. Okay. Be about there, surely. Yeah, that'll do, apparently. Okay. Ooh, that's way out. Uh, so, string too high. We need to. Which one was it? This one. Somewhere around here. There we go. That's way out as well. That'll do. It's not quite as bad. Ooh. A bit too far with that, I think. Oh, no, not quite far enough. There we go. So that is tuned. So now we can, I think we can play the guitar. Play the instrument. Here we go, play the instrument, what do we do? So Z. So these are chords, so we can do a C chord somehow. How do we, um, left, left control. Oh wow, there's a lot here. So that's our, our thread position, right control is that, but how do you make the noise? Do you strum with... Ah, here we go. Keypad. So, down to all. Keypad A, up and down. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Just a legend. I appreciate that I'm I'm not, by the way. Um, okay, I think we've we've. Okay, well that seems to work. We can put distortion on. Let's oh, let's do that. Just before we uh, just before we sign it off here, so we can play a. Uh, Enough of my horrendous guitar playing. I think that's fine. I'm happy with that. It sounds like a guitar to me. Somebody who knows how to play the guitar will do a great job with that. So let's complete the order. So two stars on most of it, nearly three stars, but a lot of that's down to, I think, um, parts and stuff like that. Uh, final price. So we can up the price. So final price, 1,200. Um, I mean, he's pretty happy. I'm gonna like leave it. I'm gonna leave it there, I think, because he's pretty happy with that, and we we need to gain better publicity. But uh, that is it then. So we have made a guitar. We've got a couple downstairs waiting, but our time is up. It is uh, 6:44, so it is time to end the demo anyway. 
It wasn't too bad that, a little bit grindy in places to be honest, I found some of the building a little bit tedious, but I think that can be easily refined with just a few different controls and stuff like that. Um, and it's quite a fun game, and I imagine the actual game where you get just people coming and saying, hey, I want a guitar, and you can design them your own guitar and come up with all sorts of crazy stuff and things like that can be quite good. And if you are a guitar player who actually knows what they're doing and understands the guitar, I'm sure you'll have a lot more idea than I did uh, about building it, so I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy the game as well. Um, but yeah, it's, check it out on Steam. It's just a demo on Steam at the moment. I don't know when they're releasing or anything like that, but a lot of effort's gone into... Uh, to the look and feel of it, I think. So it's not too bad, it's, it's, a, it's a fun play, I think. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in another video very soon.